August 9, 1943, in Jacksonville, Illinois, Ken Norton was a professional prize fighter who was known for his muscular physique and punching power. Using an unusual style of boxing known as the cross arm defense, where the left arm is positioned low across the body while the right hand is brought up high near the ear, Norton rose to the upper echelons of the sport by defeating Muhammad Ali and also winning the WBC heavyweight title in 1978. In high school, Norton was an exceptional athlete, making the all-state team in football and excelling in track. In fact, after Norton placed first in seven different track events, the quote, Ken Norton rule, end quote, which limited athletes to four events, was put into place to prevent a similar type of athletic dominance. Norton went on to Northeast Missouri State University on a football scholarship. After finishing school, Norton joined the Marines. During his time in the service, Norton picked up boxing and compiled a 24-2 and record on his way to three All-Marine heavyweight titles. He is generally regarded as the best boxer to ever compete for the Corps. After a stellar amateur career that saw him win the North Carolina AAU Golden Glove, International AAU, and Pan American titles, Norton turned pro in 1967. However, the turning point in his boxing career occurred when Norton was given the motivational book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. By Norton's description, the book was the catalyst for his 14-fight win streak and his upset victory over Muhammad Ali. In particular, the following section from the book was the inspirational factor in Norton's victory. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. Norton would also take a course from Hill on acquiring wealth and attaining mental peace. In fact, Ken Norton received the Napoleon Hill Award for positive thinking in 1973. A lifelong learner, Norton believed firmly in a thorough mode of mental preparation alongside his physical training. In regard to his physical preparation, a typical day of training for Norton went as follows. He would wake up at 4.15 a.m. and run anywhere from 3 to 8 miles, after which he would rest and shower before having a breakfast, which consisted of 9 eggs, bacon, toast, cereal, juice, and milk. Breakfast was followed by a 3-mile walk and a nap. He hit the gym in the afternoon and completed, completed a lengthy workout that went like this. Warm-up was 20 minutes of full body stretching, then on to shadow boxing, three three-minute rounds, 30-second breaks, sparring anywhere from three to nine three-minute rounds with 30-second breaks, heavy bag, three three-minute rounds, 30-second breaks, speed bag, three three-minute rounds, 30-second breaks, floor to ceiling or double end bag, three three-minute rounds, 30-second breaks, more shadow boxing, three three-minute rounds, 30-second breaks, before finishing with floor exercises, which would be 250 to 300 sit-ups, 250 leg raises, and stretching for 30 minutes in total. After finishing at the gym, his evening meal included two steaks, beans, and vegetables. He followed this routine six days a week, taking Sundays off. In retirement, Norton had a brief career in the blaxploitation films of the 1970s, most famously starring in the 1975 movie Mundango about a slave in the antebellum south who must fight other slaves for the sake of their master's entertainment. Ken Norton was inducted into a wide array of boxing and athletic halls of fame. He was also rewarded for his role as a father. Both the Los Angeles Sentinel and the Los Angeles Times named Ken Norton Father of the Year. His legacy endures with the accomplishment of his children, such as his son Keith Norton, who served in the Marines and worked as a sports anchor, and Ken Norton Jr., who had a lengthy career in the NFL and would often pay tribute to his father by shadowboxing in the end zone after scoring a defensive tit touchdown. For more of these old stories, this history of physical culture, click subscribe.